Hello friends. So this week is a continuation of last week's work with the model sheet for Professor Farnsworth. And this is for a potential future project with Day from Blender Planet, but mainly just for funsies. So last week I solidified my shortcuts and tips to myself for how to draw the Professor and created a kind of model sheet, or cheat sheet as I prefer to think about it, just to help me draw him the same way every time. Now as I said last week, I'm sure I'll amend it the more I draw him, but it's a good start. So one of the things I didn't add to the model sheet was a turnaround. And you often find these on model sheets, showing the character from different angles, which is useful to see as you draw him. Instead, I wanted to do something a little more useful to use with open tunes, and that's an animated turnaround. So first, I took my time and sketched him facing to the right, and I started with his head, then used that size as a guide to his height and filled in his body. And then I drew the front view, which I found very awkward, and I'm definitely going to have to revisit this. And then the first three quarter view, which was oddly satisfying. I think because this is the view you normally get to see, but also because I'd already got the dimensions laid out and showing through with the onion skin, so it was a much easier view to draw. Then I copied the three quarter and side views and flipped them. I could have redrawn them, but this is just the sketch stage. And I did plan to ink over each position anyway, so it shouldn't look too repetitive. Then, after a bit of a tidy up, I drew the final four positions, which were based on the silhouettes of the first four positions, but facing backwards. So I used the onion skin so I could see where I was drawing. And again, this made the job much easier. And with a final few tweaks and checks that the animation was about right, I moved to the next part, the fun part, inking. And this has got to be one of my favorite parts of doing this, because you've already laid out your animation, and if you've done your job right sooner, this should just be a case of tracing the lines, but you can do it with more freedom, knowing that the lines will be in the right place. However, I'd not really taken enough time at the sketching stage, so part of the rotation didn't look quite right. So this is something for me to learn from for the next character. So I simply worked from drawing to drawing, inking over each line, and at the end I tweaked the drawings a little to improve how the feet looked, and they're still not quite right, but okay enough for this stage of the project. And this is highlighted that I need to take some time and practice drawing feet at different angles and also hands. The bane of every beginner artist seems to be drawing hands. And I think I need to spend a day just drawing hands and feet from different angles. And I'll probably post it here as a speed paint so you can see my pain. And finally was the part that brings it all together, adding color. And to do this, I just dragged an image into OpenTunes that I'd downloaded. And then making sure I was on the ink layer, I created a new color swatch and used the RGB color picker to select the color from the imported image and named it appropriately. And then I used the bucket fill tool to color in each section, touching up any lines as I went to keep the color contained in the section. And using the paintbrush tool for painting his liver spots on his head, so there wasn't any blackout lines for those. And that was it. And now I've got this turnaround, I can start a new project, load this level with all eight drawings into the colour model, choose the option to add the colours into my palette, and now I can see him from any angle to help with drawing him, and also have the correct colours available for colouring him in, which I hope will give a shortcut when it comes to animation. So there we have it, a turnaround of Professor Farnsworth ready to use when I start animating. And overall, I think it turned out pretty good for my first attempt of a turnaround. I just have to work through the other characters now and see if I can do as good a job with them. So, animated turnarounds. Why not draw your characters this way and see if they help in your animations? I bet they do. And that's a guarantee.